It's Phil V here at Woodland for Frat House Brunch with Dinnerland. So, um, so basically, three years ago, I started the Polaroid Project. Um, I was a, I was into photography pretty much my whole life. I picked up a camera maybe uh, four years ago, but uh, that was a digital camera. And then ever since uh, I really got into Polaroid, ever since I discovered Polaroid and things of that nature, it's been doing that ever since. And um, and like everything, every, every every story, every story is literally different. You know what I mean? So that's what makes the project unique in itself. Um, it's my personal taste. All the artists that that I, that I photograph are actually people that I, I I admire their work. You know what I mean? So it's. It's like everything according to my taste, that's what makes it like unique in itself. I always wanted a Polaroid camera. Like I literally just always wanted one. Like You're not the only one. I always you know, wanted one. Dude. Always wanted one. And then and, and, um, in 2012 is when I literally was just randomly randomly uh, on the computer one day. It wasn't random because I did say I wanted a Polaroid, but I was on eBay. Like you know what I mean? That's why I got my first Polaroid on eBay. And um, and I paid twenty five dollars for like my first camera, so a lot of like you know, a lot of that stuff. A lot of my early stuff was with like a twenty five dollar camera. <laughs> like, Crazy, that's insane. Earlier you were telling me um, most of your work was spontaneous because I told you um, you have photographed like the biggest names you know out here right now. So it's like, how do you go about that? Um, a lot of it is spontaneous, like I said, and uh, but it's it's also like I'm actually going to these events. Like I'm actually, I don't work for nobody. Like I don't, I'm not on any press list. I uh, I'm not shooting with the intention of contributing to like a magazine. It was me just going to these events because I was just literally fans of these artists. Like literally finessing the world, finessing the world. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what it was, and then it got to the point where like, all right, well, I'm in the venue, and I like this artist, just like everybody else in the venue is there for. But with my camera, I just felt like, why not try to just approach them or get to them and just get a portrait in an organic way? Like you know, it's not really any um, it's no real like ill meaning intentions behind it. Like it's just literally just me wanting to just get portraits of people that I actually like, or I'm actually like fans of, of their work. So what's next for Phil Z? Um, what's next? Just, uh, I'm definitely working on a few events. I'm working on one event in particular that I want to really um, make come to life. And um, it has to do with um, with Polaroids and, and, and the Impossible company as a whole. Um, Impossible is basically the company that makes a brand new film for the vintage Polaroid cameras. So, because um, Polaroid actually went out of business, a lot of people don't even know that. But Impossible basically picked up where Polaroid left off. So I want to do an event with them. That's really what I'm working on. I want to do like a solo exhibit. I want to do more mixed media pieces, like canvas pieces and stuff like that. And I want to shoot more people. I want to sh like we got to shoot, like you know what I'm saying? Like I love to say that with my Polaroid film. <laughs> Not really though. And we need to really work. We, we need to work on something like you know organic and um and and, and and keep it going. Like basically, it's the energy of the people that keeps it going. I can't take pictures. I mean, I can. People take landscape pictures or people take pictures of objects. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really do that. I like to work with people, I like to feed off people's energy, and I like to reciprocate that energy, so it's all about the people.